Hello passengers, welcome back to Traveling Jump Seaters. Marcus and Vanessa here and we are in Temecula, California on the Temecula Cable Car Wine Tour. It's pretty awesome. We're going to show you what they do. They take the three, I think three, right? Three to five. Three to five different wineries. We'll check out the wines, have some lunch, and it costs, what, $120 per person? $120 a person and we're going to show you what it's like. And here we go. We just got the spiel and we are off to our first winery. So Joe, why don't you go ahead and roll that intro? Tasting menu for the wine tasting today. We have bubbly tasting. It's a flight. You can do white wine tasting, or you can do a mixed wine and the red. I'm going to be doing the white, and my wife is going to be doing the mixed. Here are the flights that we are getting. Okay, next up in this flight is our Viognier, which is going to be dry and fruity. Mm. It has nice notes of um, honeysuckle, and tangerine. This one's a, a popular one for sure. And then we have our field blend. So this was actually created by accident. It's a Sauvignon Blanc, which tends to be really dry, blended with Muscat, which is super sweet. Ooh, that sounds good. So it has a thickness to it. Yeah. And then we have our white Merlot. This one's very, very, very sweet. Ooh, You're gonna love that's this. mine. <laughs> very crushed cherries. Ooh, strawberry. yum. This one's actually my favorite white wine. Okay. okay. That's probably going to be his favorite sweet. too. Thank you. Yeah. And now we have the mix. So it starts off with the Sauvignon Blanc. Again, the driest of all of our white wines, but it's still really crisp and refreshing. Then we have three different rosés here at Belvino. This is going to be the driest of the three, but there's a lot of fruity notes behind it, like guava and passion fruit. And then we have our Merlot California. So this is going to be a more fruit forward Merlot. It's not going to be as dry, not as tangy. I might like that. Mm -hmm. Out of all of our red wines, so this is my personal favorite red wine, this is our Butterfly Thick Blend. So it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. So it's going to be medium to full awesome. body, dry, but also just a tiny bit sweet. Perfect. Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much. And now we will begin our tasting. Cheers. Cheers. and you swirl it around, it'll leave a clear line. And depending on how thick and pronounced that line is, and how slowly it drips that down, we'll tell you how much sugar content and how much alcohol content is in that wine. You can see right up here. Uh, these are called legs. So if somebody comes up to you saying this wine has really good legs, they're already drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you take the, the wine and, uh, I'm sorry, you take your wine glass and bring it to, the, uh, to your nose, right to the bottom of it, you'll smell the florals and the notes. I'm sorry, my bad, I got that confused. You smell the oaks and the woods that they used to age the wine in. And, but if you bring it to the top, you'll smell the florals and the notes. And if you really want to make those aromas pop out, just swirl your wine glass, put your hand on top, and when you remove it, uh, the aromas will be a lot stronger. And then do you know how to hold a wine glass into my Twitter? That's pretty close. What do you do with the pinky though? That's for tea time, that's for later. <laughs> you, take your Catch it. you take your pinky and you put it underneath the saucer into what's called the dimple of the wine glass. And you use that as a stabilizer. Okay. 
literally everywhere else will tell you differently about, the, about how to hold a wine glass, yeah. but that's how you hold it into my glass. <laughs> I've never seen the pinky under, all right? Okay. All right. If you have any questions or anything, just let me know, all right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, Vanessa here. We're going to test Mark at what he learns. All right, Mark. So walk us through it. So... In Temecula, the way you hold your wine glass is you have to have your pinky underneath in the little divot of the wine glass. Why? It's to stable, stabilize your glass. Okay. That's the Temecula way. Okay. And then I guess if I swirl it, that shows you all the sugars content in the wine. I have a lot of sugar in this wine. So it's not really a good wine, I guess. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> For me it is. I love the sweet wines. You like the sweet wines. I love the sweet wines. Alright, what else? So, bottom of the glass. I smell the oakness of it. Okay, so the wood of the barrel. And then up here, it's more of the, the fruitiness of the wine. Good. And then I guess I swirl it, and then I trap it, <laughs> and then I can smell everything. All at once. All right, Cheers. he's learning. So apparently, when you book this this tour, um, they give you lunch, and it's not a bad lunch. It's actually a board and brew, and it's a big sandwich. Look at the size of the sandwich. Bam. Welcome back passengers. We are now done with Belvino. Our review here is, it's a very good winery. Uh, it's got really good white wines, red wines. Uh, we talked to some of our fellow passengers who were on the tour with us and they said the bubbly was delicious as well. They have a mango, uh, mango peach champagne, which to me sounds amazing. Uh, my wife had the mixed and she had, what was the, your favorite? Their, their butterfly, which is a mixed red. Very good. Price point for for what I my taste I would have wanted to enjoy a little bit more, but it was delicious. And then we had was really good, very flavorful. Uh, the white wines that Mark sampled had a lot of tropical flavors, so guava, passion, passion fruit, fruit, strawberry. Yeah, so if you're into that fruity passion fruit, that's kind of a new flavor we really haven't tried here in Temecula. So we recommend Belvino. All right, on to winery number two. Welcome back, 
passengers. We are now hanging out at the Long Shadow Ranch Winery, having some Sauvignon Blanc. It's got a cool apple crisp taste to it. All right, Vanessa, does the flavor that you're tasting match what's on the description? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because it just talks about the color of it, which is obviously a beautiful color. Um, tells you about the grape. Tells about that it's made from a white Sangiovese. But then it all it says a hint of floral blossoms. So maybe, I guess if these blossoms are raspberry blossoms, I don't know. Um, yeah, I was kind of hoping for a little more on the menu. Wine's delicious. So I was just looking for a little bit more information. This is the Butero. Oh, that's good. What do you taste? Um, I can't figure out what it is. This is when having a menu, um, which is what is in each one. I'm gonna go maybe a berry. I'm thinking maybe a, a raspberry. Let's ask the expert. We'll bring him over here. So if you're looking for a good place to get married, this has a great area. I'm gonna let my wife explain it to you. Set the stage for you. I'm assuming you're gonna have your guest on either side on the grass here on the barrels. You have a nice, beautiful, long walkway. I love the curve. So as your you know, spouse or significant other is waiting for you, they get the kind of the reveal here. Very simple archway, nothing behind you, distracted pictures. And if you pan this way, it would be a great cocktail area. And then if you come around the corner, beautiful touches of the wrought iron. You've got the barn doors that open on the side of the hall. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can really see the potential of this place as a wedding venue. There you have it, folks. So here on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays from 1.30 to 4.30, they have live music playing every weekend. And then starting, I think, in another month or so, they're going to start having the evening shows as well. Ooh, smells like poop. So here we are with our final review of the Long Shadow Ranch Winery. Uh, overall, it's a great place. The property has rescue animals, horses, goats, alpacas. Uh, alpacas. Um, they got a playground for the kids to play on. I'm guessing during the peak season, they have a stage for performances such as you know, music groups and who knows what else. Uh, the wines were actually really good. Um, we had a a uh, Sauvignon Blanc mm -hmm. and a, a weird Boutonera, Butera. <laughs> a Butera. Um, That's what I'm thinking right now. They give you descriptions, not as detailed as some would like, but you know they give you the basics of what you're drinking. And yeah, I mean overall, I give it a I'd give it like a six or seven out of ten. Six or seven. Um, we are with a wine tour group, so I'm wondering if that's why um, we weren't given a lot of uh, detail or conversation with the staff. I'm always looking to get, learn a little bit more about the wine I'm drinking, where it comes from, um, the style, the process. Uh, our tour guide gave us some great information, but would have loved to hear more from the staff about their wines. But then again, that could just be because we are with a tour group and um, not, We're not a real paying customer. 
So, but yeah, overall, I would say wine was was very tasty. And it looks like they have some barbecue food here normally. So, yeah. Uh, behind us is this really pretty um, hall, the place for the reception hall. It looks gorgeous. Very nice property for a wedding um, if you are comfortable with the smell of cow poop, horse poop. Because it does have a, a smell. It does have a horse poop smell, um, which of course attracts the flies. But um, if you're okay with that, that's great. Come place. check it out. Longhorn. Long Shadow Ranch. Long Shadow Ranch. <laughs>so here's our final thoughts on the somerset vineyard um, we are now wine club members and that's how much we like it uh, the wine here is amazing uh, the service here is beautiful the, the, the property unbelievable um, they have uh, it's a smaller winery than most of the uh, wineries here but it's very um, homely homey it's homely. off the beaten path uh, apparently it does get quite busy here on the weekends because it is small but it is well known in the area. Um, small pat batch wines. Uh, one of the big things here was that they do have some wines that they ferment in the terracotta pots, which we got to yes. go behind the scenes and, and they see. They're the only ones that do that. Yeah, so, so that, was that was pretty cool. Couldn't film it. I tried to video it, but they said no. He, he valued his job too much. <laughs> she wouldn't let me do it. So, but come check it out. If you're in Temecula, the Somerset Winery, we highly recommend it. We give it a 10. Cheers. So good with the last ones back from the trolley. <laughs>